guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video, and this is going to be, um, products I would not repurchase tag. Again, I either did not like them, or I made a mistake, and I didn't return them. Yeah, so let's get on started with this video. Okay, so first of all, I did not buy this, um, and I wasn't being, like, sent to it. I got this, um, for my mom. Yeah, she works, she used to work here, and then she just, like had a coupon for it she bought it um but I don't really like it I mean I use it and stuff but it's like so I don't like the consistency of them and this is the Clayrest Shimmer Shimmer Shadows yeah if you guys um are new to this channel I came from an old channel Polymer Clay A um and I'll put it like right there but yeah that was my old channel I had a makeup um, contest entry in there, and I used this, and yeah, that's pretty much the only time I used it. But these are so shimmery, and they're really, really pigmented, but I think that they're too shimmery. So do you see how many, like, how much shimmer there is? And then it's just two little, like, slots, and then, oh god, it's just in my hair. Okay, but just, like, some of them are, like, really nice. Like, this is nice. I like it. But, like, these, like, all these, like, browns ended up being, like, all this weird consistency and they look really weird sometimes and then they're really messy if you can see like they are so messy and they're like when you see them they're just like in balls or like these clusters and it's really weird and it looks not very pretty sometimes on your eyes clean finish foundation out to look a hundred percent poreless Looks like it's pretty light on here but I'm like really bad at picking out your shades so if you guys have like any tips check down just comment down below but like literally you put this on it and it's so dark so it looks light and then like you put it on and literally can cover up all of this it's that good just kidding um and when you like blend it in it becomes like so dark do you like see that okay it's hard to see because it's like yeah but like there's just this random like bought a foundation and like, like it doesn't blend well and it comes with this random spatula thing and regular price is four dollars and I got this on sale for two dollars at Walgreens one day it's like the worst foundation I've ever tried and I don't know how you're supposed to look poreless with this because I think that this is a really heavy foundation it's sort of like a thick formula to me I don't really wear foundation even if I need extra coverage I don't wear it I don't want my skin to like I don't know looks like yeah 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 and this is in black and I thought that this would be really nice because I love this brush it was like the prettiest brush I've ever seen on an eyeliner like it left like a really nice sharp finish and like you could do thick and you could do thin and I just really liked it but it comes off during the day. I mean, it's okay. But, like, like you put it on your, like, upper lash line thing. And then, like, you, if you're, like, it gets, like, itchy. I don't know. And then, like, I go like that. And then it's, like, all comes off in my fingers. And it's really annoying. But that's why I don't, like, I wouldn't buy this again. Then I have some other eyeliners, too. Hair marker. And I feel like this runs out so quickly. Like, you would go like this and, like, it runs out so quickly, and I just got it. Yeah, it, it runs out so quickly, and you're, like, shaking it for, like, an hour, seriously. And it's, like, it runs out so quickly. And then, especially when you're, like, taking a really long time on your upper lash line, it, do it doesn't really help very well, if, especially if you're a beginner with, like, things like that. So next I have some mascara, and this is a high and brand so um this is a bare minerals flawless definition mascara and this is in black and here's what the wand looks like so it's like a triangle very very thin uh shaped sort of thing it's like a christmas tree and then it really really separates if you can see there yeah it really separates but this is not waterproof and it comes off so quickly just by like if you start sweating and then like 
just like a drop literally gets in your eye you would want to get the drop out so you would go like that to your eyelashes and it like all comes off on your fingers and it's really annoying I mean waterproof mascaras um, are good but like the ones that are waterproof the ones that say they're not waterproof they're still better than that and that's high end so I would expect a little more from you guys bare minerals um, with your mascara I don't know but that's just my opinion and then I have eyeshadows. So I have these two little Rimmel ones. And I got these on sale at Walgreens too. Oh, Walgreens. You're like... I don't know. Never I got these two. And then this is a number 102 backstage. And this is number 10 Royal Linen. It's like a pinky white sort of color. And then it looks like it's really pigmented. And I love the brown. It looks like it's so pigmented and then you like apply it on your finger. Oh my god, it's pigmented. Then you apply it with the brush on your eyelid and it's not pigmented like like what it looks like. I was a little disappointed in that. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it looked like really tired towards the end. I'm so tired and I just want to go to bed now. Have a fun day and I'm sorry if this is like all shaky because it's like on my bed and it's like raw. But just kidding. Okay, so bye guys.